Well, hi guys. It is a Wednesday or windy Tuesday, the uh, 10th of May, and I have just spent the last couple hours measuring, 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 and loosening bolts. Uh, I tried it, give it the college try, and then I got the fire wrench out, heated the nuts up, and they came off. I had to basically move this hitch from that last hole to the fifth hole, about six inches, six, eight inches. And if I got this figured out now, uh, oh yes, I've been greasing as I go front and back, stay. Uh, centering this thing up has been a challenge. But it's a 14 inch bottom, and if you look down that, that's basically 14 inches. So I am 30 inches from center draw bar to tile. If I've done my math right, where my 30 is now put your mold put you right at the end of the shear so that should be right I tried it in the hole before and it just wasn't there it was like it was a 16 inch bottom so I had to bring it two more inches so I think now it's centered back up to use on this tractor with the wheels set the way they are. Um, this is something we've had to do for years. Uh, you always had, well, get in the shade a minute. It's rather warm today. But we always had certain tractors you plowed with, okay? And you set plows to those tractors. And or set wheels to tractors for plowing or cultivating, okay? Uh, nowadays, everything is on 30-inch rows. Everything is shoved in as far as it can go. So I have a choice. I can either loosen six bolts up and move that hitch or take nine bolts out of a tire that is loaded with a cast center with a wheel weight on it off and try to look loosen up six axle nuts six nuts on u-bolts that probably aren't going to move to move it about two inches so that's not going to work and even this side you're only going to move it about two inches unless you take both hubs off and switch tires one side to the other. Just how it works. So rather than do all that rigmarole, it's easier to do this. Now, like I said, I tried it. They weren't going to budge. So ease the nuts up. Uh, one bolt in particular now well, there's not much thread left so it was replaced 
uh, put some grease on them I've got the nuts run up they're not tight yet that's what I was getting ready to do Kohler's tightened up and where it goes uh, it's as far over as I can possibly take it so there's no moving it unless I move that hitch that way and I really don't want to do that I uh, tried looking up see what model this plow is and I really don't know uh, it's a white plow got a white decal on it but I see green paint here and there under stuff uh, so uh, not real sure but give you an idea what the frame looks like uh, like I said I'm not a hundred percent sure what this is oh yes next job is going to be this hitch is pretty well squared with the front beam it's got a little cock to it not a lot however it is when you get back to the back and you see how turned that wheel is uh, I was wondering why this thing was coming so wide coming down the driveway well I guess they backed into something and hit it and it shoved in just a little bit uh, thought about taking this bolt out and putting it in this hole here but that'll probably take it too far the other way or I don't know but I gotta I'm gonna have to loosen that clamp up and try to pull this back because that is just way too far cocked it should have a little toe out or toe in that way but not that much uh, it's way too much so let me get the camera set up and we'll tighten some bolts and go from there hang on okay let me get a few things out of the way here and get into the correct position to do this for me
Yes, I'm there for that. <sighs> That's enough to wear you out. We've gone from uh, sixties and seventies to the mid to upper eighties for the last two days. It's a bit on the warm side. I'm not used to it. Okay. That part is done now. Uh, other than going through and greasing each Kohler. I did the front one, I've got the back one. I got the other four to do. And see if I can get grease in these, all these. Uh, and get the colors. This one's stuck. So I got some work to do there. And get them freed up to where they move. So, and I got to get that tail wheel moved a little. So, let me put this stuff up and get to the next part, and I shall be back as quick as possible. So, hang on, we'll be back. Well, guys, she's about six six thirty. I'm calling it a day. Uh, got it hooked back up to the tractor. And after quite a bit of beating and banging, I got the clamp loose and I moved it to right there. From there to there. And that brought this wheel setting a lot better than it was. Uh, it, it I drove it down from back in the woods up here tail end of this plow was way over here and had it sitting here and looked at it and that wheel was way off so either they must have backed into something at some point, but I don't think this thing had ever been moved because there's still red paint under there where the clamp was and it's not rusted. Uh, I was very, 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 very much amazed that it moved. Uh, yeah. Very amazed it moved. But now, uh, the hitch is all, everything's moved on the hitch, everything's right. Uh, it should be just right. It's a, a little bit cockeyed to the plow but it should be about right. Uh, the hitch is all done as far as that goes. I'm going to find another cylinder to put on it. This is a little small. Uh, everything on that front is greased. Tail wheel and everything there has been done. The, I'm going to measure the whole for the grease cap I need for that hub and go down tomorrow maybe see if I can get a new grease cap only thing I really have left to do is to grease all the colders up 
they all move except the one that second one right there it's stuck and they all need to be freed up side to side and greased uh, the hubs need greased there's grease fitting right there you can see on each one and that should be it and the plow will be done uh, like I say I bought this three or four years ago and the whole idea was one way or another uh, I could use it as a four bottom on my 1550s uh, there are four four would be four fourteens, and I know it would scoot right down the field with it. Uh, That's one of the reasons I bought this plow. Options: it can be a four bottom, it can be a five bottom, or it can be a six bottom. And that gives you a lot of options you can do. Uh, you know, it's, it is what it is kind of deal. Um, like I say, these kind of, this, this type of plow doesn't pop up very often for sale. I've only seen one other 614. And it was strictly 614. It was solid frame. I don't know if them guys that I got it from ordered it this way or what, but it's kind of, it is what it is at this point. But I'm very happy with it, and I'm quite sure that the 1850 is going to handle it just fine. Uh, I had 516s on it, and it literally played with them. Well, these are 14-inch bottoms, so they're going to pull just a little bit easier than 16s. And you're only talking probably 6 inches difference in width of a 5.16s compared to 5.14s. Or 6 14s. So, uh, yeah. Big thing will be uh how the tire is going to fit in the furrow being those are 14 14 inch bottoms and those are 18 4 rubber so it could be interesting but i think it'll handle it just fine one way or the other uh i'm gonna call it here i'm tired i'm burnt up i'm wore out and it's time to go home and get in the coolie air uh, have an adult beverage and relax for a while. Well, actually, I got to put a video up tonight, so I won't be relaxing very long. I'll be working on a video. <laughs> but, guys, I think the 1850 is looking good here. And I am really hoping that it dries up enough to where I can actually put these in the ground and give them a whirl. Is I want to see what the 1850 will do. I want to put a good load behind it and run her. And get all the bugs worked out. That's one thing it really has not done yet. Been worked good. I think these are going to work her, but it won't be too bad. <laughs> so guys, we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And like I said in the previous video, if you should happen to know what series plow this is, let me know. I'm really curious to know. Well, we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Well, hi, guys.
it is Wednesday afternoon the 11th of May and got a new grease cap on that wheel repacked had to redo number two Kohler it was stuck uh, number three was loose so I took it apart tightened it up Three took a little bit of rocking, but I got it. Two took a little rocking, and I got it freed up, ready to rock and roll. And believe it or not, two tubes of grease later, and the plow is greased. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's ready to go. Uh, my tail wheel. I'm going to run it and see how it acts. Um, I backed into it, I cocked it a little more. But it was about between where it is and straight with the frame. So it's, I think it'll work. I'm still really surprised that this moved. Uh, basically, there to there. Oh, I'm really happy it moved. <laughs> uh, the bees are not happy with me. Uh, the bumblers had nests in here. And it's kind of like I know that because of that. Whenever you see shiny paint on something like this, rest assured... Creatures have been flying in and out of it. Just like that one. And all those. And that one. So they got a dose of gasoline and uh, oxyacetylene. <laughs> uh, I was surprised. All those took grease. So they're all good. The colors are greased. The pivots, the colors, everything's greased and oiled. And as far as I can tell, it's ready to try. Uh, it's kind of in the outfit. To the west of me about five miles that's planting right now um, this on the other hand uh, uh, I might have to drive around on it a bit to look, see if it's dry enough to do anything. Uh, it's not so much where I'm at, it's the lower end and back through there. Uh, as I said before, this, this place gets fuzzy come spring. And at $60 a gallon for Roundup, uh, let's face it, you can't afford to do that. So, uh, either be turning it under with a mold board or disking it. Uh, chisel plowing and this kind of stuff is just a waste of time. It's a mess. So good time to get this stuff now because it's starting to make a head so uh, if I don't do anything else I'm going to move some equipment around do a little shuffle and may get my drill out I need to do a few things to it have it ready 
<laughs> I don't know what that is. Believe it or not, that is a piece of chalk. Because it weighs absolutely nothing. And if it's like the other pieces I've got, they are literally from the uh, White Cliffs of Dover, England. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let me see what happens here in a minute. Um, Probably might be a good time to go down there and drag that log out and bring it up here somewhere out of the way. And let me just go from there. So we'll see you here in a bit, guys.